let's dive into another powerful routing concept called catch-all segments. To understand this better, consider scenario 6. Imagine we're building a documentation site for our project. The site has multiple features, and each feature contains several concepts that need documentation. Picture a site navigation with five features, where the first feature expands to show five different concepts. The goal is to create unique routes for each concept under its respective feature. Think about URLs like localhost 3000 slash docs slash feature one slash concept one slash docs slash feature one slash concept two slash docs slash feature two slash concept one and so on. Now, if we have 20 features and each feature has 20 concepts, we are looking at 400 different routes. Since Next.js uses file system based routing, that would mean 400 separate files in a project. But here's where dynamic routing comes to the rescue. By using dynamic route folders with a concept ID, we can cut that down to just 20 files. Take it a step further by making the feature folder dynamic with a feature ID, and we are down to just two folders. One for feature ID and one for concept ID. Much better, right? But there is still a catch. Every time we add a new path segment to our URL, like slash docs slash feature one, slash concept one, slash example one, we need another level of nesting in our routes folder. Since every page in our documentation shares the same layout, wouldn't it be great if we could handle all these route segments with just one file? That is exactly what catch all segments feature lets us do. Let me show you how to set it up. In your app folder, create a docs folder. Inside that, create another folder with a special Next.js naming convention. Use square brackets with three dots, like the spread operator, followed by a name. We will use slug, since that is a common term for URLs. Then create a page.tsx file within the slug folder. Default export a React component. So export default function docs that returns an h1 tag docs homepage. The magic of this file is that it matches any URL with docs in the path. Try it out. Whether you visit slash docs slash feature one slash concept one or even slash docs slash feature one slash concept one slash example one, you will see the same docs page. That is the catch all segments route in action. It captures all URL segments and handles them in the single file. This is perfect for documentation sites where you want different URL segments for organization and SEO, but keep the same basic layout. Of course, you'll want to access the different URL segments in your code. Let me show you how to do that using the params object. We destructure params from prop, and params is of type promise. We have slug, which is an array of strings. Within the component, Destructure slug from params by awaiting it. Make sure the component is an async function. For the JSX, we will use an if else block to handle the different possibilities. So if slug exists and the length is equal to two, we return an h1 tag viewing docs for feature slug of zero and concept slug of one. Else, if slug exists, and the length is equal to one, we return an h1 tag doing docs for feature slug of zero. Pretty simple. In the browser, navigate to slash docs slash routing, and you will see viewing docs for feature routing. Navigate to slash docs slash routing slash catch all segments, and you will see viewing docs for feature routing and concept catch-all segments. You can customize this UI logic however you need, but typically you would use the slug array to fetch the right documentation for each feature or concept. Scenario 6 has been successfully implemented. Now Next.js also offers optional catch-all segments. Right now, if you navigate to just slash docs in the URL, you will see a 404 error. But if you want to show the same docs page here too, just wrap your folder name in an extra pair of square brackets. So rename the slug folder and wrap it with an extra pair of square brackets. This makes the slug segments optional, 
and now slash docs will work as well, triggering this last return statement. Now you might be wondering, when should you use a simple page.tsx in the docs folder versus the optional catchall page.tsx since both of them render UI for slash docs in the URL? Well, it is straightforward. If your page UI is always the same, the simple page.tsx in the docs folder. If your page UI is different based on the URL, for example, as it is the case in our current scenario, then use the optional catchall route. page.tsx within slug folder as opposed to page.tsx directly within docs folder. Here is a visualization of catchall segments. Localhost 3000 will render page.tsx in the app folder. For any URL that contains docs, we render page.tsx in the slug folder which is our catch-all segment. All right, that is a comprehensive look at catch-all segments. We have covered a lot about Next.js routing, but there's still more to explore. Let's continue with the next topic. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.